so sweet, you're going to be reenacting Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet, the balcony scene. And we actually even have even brought you some costumes. Sweet. So we're going to take a pause while we get into costume here. Yeah, Juliet. It's Juliet. Yes. Yeah. Romeo, deny thy father and refuse thy name. Or if thou wilt not put, be put, sworn my love. And I'll no longer be a capulet. Shall I be more? Shall I speak at this? Tis but thy name that is my enemy. Thou art thyself, though not a Montague. What's Montague? It is nor hand, nor foot, nor arm, nor face, nor any part belonging to me. <laughs> oh, be some other name. What's in the name? That which we could call a rose. By any other name would smell as sweet. So Romeo would, were he not Romeo called. Retain that dear perfection which he owes without that title. Romeo, doubt thy name. And for that name which is no part of thee, take all myself. I take thee at thy word. Call me but love, and I'll be new baptized. Henceforth, I never will be Romeo. What man art thou that this be screened at night, so stumblest on my counsel? By a name, I know not how to tell thee who I am. My name, dear saint, is hateful to myself, because it is an enemy to thee. Had I it written, I would tear the word. My ears have not yet drunk a thousand words of that tongue's utterance, yet I know the sound. Art thou not Romeo and the Montego? Oh, crap. Like that was me, was it? Oh, was it? Okay, just kidding. <laughs> oh, because then you know. <laughs> right. My ears have not yet drunk a hundred words of that tongue's utterance, yet I know the sound. Art thou not Romeo and a Montague? Neither, fair saints, if either be dislike. How comest thou hither? Tell me, and wherefore? The orchard walls are high and hard to climb, and the place. And the place death, considering who thou art, if any of my kinsmen find thee here. With love's light wings do I o'erpurge these walls, for stony limits cannot hold with love out. And what love can do that dares love attempt? Therefore thy kinsmen are not led to me. If they do see thee, they will murder thee. Alack, these lies more peril in thine eyes, and twenty of their swords. Look thou but sweet, and I am proof against their enemy. I would not for the world they saw thee here. I have made cloak to hide me from their sight, and but thou love me, let them find me here. My life were better ended by their hate than death, pro rooms, wanting of thy love. By whose direction foundest thou out this place? Thy love, who first did prompt me to inquire, he let me counsel, and I lent him eyes. I am no pilot, yet wert thou as far as that vast shore washed with the fair sea of an adventure for such merchantmen. Thou knowest the mask of night is on my face, else would a maiden blush be paint by a cheek. For that which thou hast heard me speak tonight, fain would I dwell on form, fain, fain deny. What if I spoke a farewell compliment? Dost thou love me? I know thou wilt say A, and I will take thy word, yet if thou swearest, thou mayest prove false and lovers' perjuries, then say, Jove laughs. O oh, gentle Romeo, if thou dost love, pronounce it faithfully. Or if thou thinkest I am too quickly won, I'll frown and be perverse and say thee nay. So thou wilt woo, but else not for the world. In truth, fair Montague, I am too fond. And therefore thou mayest think my behavior light. But trust me, gentlemen, I'll prove more true than those that have more cunning to be strange. I should, I should have been more strange, I must confess. But that thou overheard ear, I was where? My. Okay. But true love's passion, therefore pardon me, and not impute this yielding to light love which the dark night hath so discovered. Lazy by yonder blessed moon, I swear, the tips with silver all these fruit tree tops. I swear not by the moon, the inconsistent moon, that monthly changes in her circle door. That they love. Likewise. Likewise, yeah, well. What shall I swear by? Do not swear at all, or if thou wilt, swear by the gracious self, which is God himself. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll believe thee. <laughs> if my heart's the love. Well, do not swear, although I joy in thee. I have no joy of this contract tonight. It is too rash, too undivised, too sudden. 
to like the lightning, which doth cease to be. Here one can say, it lightens. Sweet, good night. This bud of love, thy summering's ripening breath, may prove a beautious flower. <laughs> when next we speak, good night, good night. Sweetest repose and rest come to thy heart as that within my breast. Oh, will thou leave me so unsatisfied? What satisfaction canst thou have tonight? The exchange of thy love's faithful vow for mine. I gave thee mine before thou didst request it, and yet I would it I would it were to give again. <laughs> Must thou withdraw it? For what purpose, love? But to be frank and give it thee again, and yet I wish but for the thing I have. My bounty is as boundless as the sea. My love is deep. The more I give to thee, the more I have. For both are infinite. I hear some noise within, dear love, adieu, and on, good nurse, sweet Montague, be true, stay but a little, I will come again. Oh, blessed, blessed night, I am afeard, being in night, all this is but a dream, too flattering sweet to be substantial. Hey, you got my back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Three words, dear Romeo, and good night and deep. If that thy bent of love be honorable, thy purpose marriage, send me word tomorrow, by one that I'll procure to come to thee, where in that time thou wilt perform the right, and all my fortunes of thy foot I'll lay, and follow thee, my lord, throughout the world. I come on, but if thou means not well, I do beseech thee. By and by I come, I cease thy soon, leave me to my grief. Tomorrow will I send. So thrive my soul. A thousand times, good night. A thousand times the word to want thy light. Love goes toward love as schoolboys from their books. But love from love, toward school with heavy looks. Um, I, I retire, right? Well, well, such retiring, does that mean? I don't even know where retiring is. <laughs> You should not be. Now is this room yet? No. <laughs> Where are we? <laughs> what? <laughs> Happy love, she's trying to agree to Juliet. What do you mean? You have a different script? Why are they playing here? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what page are you on? <laughs> Why are you doing this? Brandon and Juliet. How silver sweet sound lovers' tongues by night, like softest music to attending ears. Romeo! My dear! At what o'clock tomorrow shall I send to thee? At the hour of nine. I will not fail, tis twenty years till then. I have forgot why I did call thee back. Let me stand here till thou remember it. I shall forget to have thee still stand here, remembering how I love thy company. And I'll, and I'll still say, to have thee still forgot. And I'll still stay to have thee stood for God, forgetting any other home but this. Tis almost morning, I would have thee gone, and yet no further than Wanton's bird, who let it hop from a little from her hand, like a poor prisoner in twisted chives, and with silk thread plucks it back again. What? <laughs> so loving, jealous, so this liberty. I would I were thy bird. Sweet, so would I, yet I should kill thee with much cherishing. Good night, good night, parting is such sweet sorrow, that I shall say good night till it be morrow. Sleep dwell upon thine eyes, peace in thy breast. Would I were sleep in peace, so sweet to rest. Hence will I to my ghostly father's cell, his hope to crave, and my dear hap to tell. 